Hello everyone. So first I apologize because I have not posted a video in almost two weeks. Sorry. And I know some of you guys are wondering, did she make it back to America? Is she home now? <laughs> Yes, I am home, obviously, <laughs> in my room. But I do want to say, if you have not already, follow me on Instagram because you will get live updates. So even if I do go a week without posting, at least you know I'm safe and alive because you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so really quick, I just want to give you guys a quick update. If you watched my last video and I told you my flight got canceled and I didn't know if I was going to get a refund, all those things, a quick update, not getting a refund. I guess because I booked my new flight through a different like my new flight was through Air France whereas the original flight was through Virgin Atlantic and um I told you guys I couldn't get in contact with anybody and figure out the process to reschedule my flight and then the flight was like 24 hours away so I didn't have time to really go through a process of finding flights and all of that um through the company so I took matters into my own hand did it myself booked a new flight but they can't refund me for it because it's through Air France and not Virgin Atlantic. So I was told that they can refund my original round trip that I booked back in like November. But here's the thing. If they refund me for that trip, then that means I can't go back home in January or go back to Oxford in January um, unless I book a whole new flight. Um, so I guess I could do that if I wanted to and, you know, pocket the difference or whatever but I was like that just doesn't make sense to me like I might as well just keep the flight that I have take it as a cash loss like that's just so much more of a process to get a refund wait for my money to come back in my account book a new flight I don't even know like I'm pretty sure I paid with my UK bank account so yeah just a mess so I'm not getting a refund but it's okay I'm still going back to Oxford in January so it is what it is. I wanted to come home. I wanted to spend time with my family. And these first two weeks have been really nice, just relaxing. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> I haven't had too much time to relax. Maybe the last couple of days I have. But um, I still had two more assignments that were due after I came here. So the first one was due maybe like a week ago. And then the next one was due this week. So I was just working on that, trying to stay low key, get my work done that's done. I'm officially done with semester one of my master's degree. It is an amazing feeling because I can relax, spend time with my family, and mentally prepare for this new semester. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little afraid of going back to Oxford for some reason. Like, you know, what am I gonna expect? What's the new semester gonna be like? I have to really start getting into my dissertation. But all of those fears and worries I plan to tackle and create a plan for before I leave the States. <laughs> so that's about it. That's as much as I wanted to update you guys on. But today, I think we have a really, really fun video. Um, me and my mom and my brother, we are going to Charlottesville, Virginia, which is about an hour, an hour and a half away from where I live. So of course, I'm like, let me take you guys with me. So I haven't vlogged in a bit. It's been a few weeks, so hopefully this video is something new and refreshing. I cannot promise you that my mom or brother want to be introduced to the vlog, which is understandable, <laughs> but I will try to get a sneak, a sneak peek of everybody. Okay, <laughs> everyone's gotten quiet now, so I think it's probably time for us to leave here soon, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe so you can see so much more content to come. So yeah, let's get into it. It's gonna be a great day. made it to Charlottesville so <laughs> my mom said she wanted to take us on the scenic route just for you just for you guys <laughs> so Charlottesville is home to the University of Virginia UVA and the University of Virginia Medical Center and the University of Virginia Medical Center <laughs> and so these are a bunch of Which student housing I think the top hospitals in this nation one of the top hospitals in the nation says my mom so this is where the students live. Nobody's here now because uh, it's winter break. I remember I've had a medical center that they uh, remodeled it. I don't even know what to say. That's the back of it. And they 
they still remodeling it. This is the hospital. <laughs> In case they can't hear you. That's the front of it. It don't look like much. No, it's big. All that's okay, new. here we go. And this is the University of Virginia Medical Center. To one of the downtown areas of Charlottesville. stylish with your um, mask and <laughs> matching. That's nice. <laughs> I'm old. I gotta look stylish. She's not old. My mask matches? Yes, okay. you match. Where to next, Mom? Uh, uh, you parked over there. We're going somewhere. I'll let you know when we get there. Oh, yeah. So She has to return something. I don't know. What is this? Is it Old Navy? No, it's Athleta. Oh, Athleta. Yes, I'm still sitting here waiting on you, Mom. Understanding everything at Trader Joe's is the Trader Joe's brand. I learned that in one of my marketing classes. <laughs> so it is like a grocery store, but a Trader Joe's grocery store. Yeah, I really don't know how to explain it. <laughs> a cheaper version of a Whole Foods store, a smaller version of a Whole Foods store, all of that good stuff. So she likes to come here and get some things that they sell. Oh, stuff that you can't get anywhere else. That you can't get anywhere else. Hi, people. <laughs> okay, we have walked up and down every aisle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did not come here with the list. <laughs> Okay. 
Like, just looking, just browsing. <laughs> Basically, no toilet paper or paper towels. I'm still trying to figure out why this is the most in demand commodity, but. So I believe we are done with our escapades for the day um, and we are exhausted. Are you tired? Yeah, I look tired, Donna. <laughs> no, anyways, okay, so. Look tired. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video out today with my mom. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you haven't already, you're missing out. I will see you guys next time. Bye, Bye mom. Bye. <laughs>